it's Alana and welcome back to my channel. So I haven't done a Portland video in a really long time and with spring now here, I thought it'd be fun to do a Portland spring bucket list. I do have a lot of content about Portland, so if you live in Portland, make sure you subscribe down below because who knows, maybe I'll post some more Portland content later on down the road. So anyways, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this spring bucket list. Let's start with the most obvious thing and that is visiting the cherry blossoms at the waterfront. So these last for about three or four weeks. They are fully bloom right now. They honestly have about like two weeks left. So as the annoying influencers like to say, run, don't walk because you will miss them. And if not, then you can always check back next year. But don't worry, there's still another place to enjoy cherry blossoms, which will be in the next one in just a minute. But Definitely take a picture with this. It does get very crowded, but I promise it's worth it and it's so beautiful and it's just so fun to be around with all the spring energy. Another great place to see cherry blossoms in Portland is the Portland Japanese Garden. Because Portland has a bunch of microclimates, these cherry blossoms do bloom a little bit later. So if you do miss the ones at the waterfront, this is a great place to come see them here. But also everything is starting to blossom now at the Japanese tea garden and it is so beautiful. I think this is probably the prettiest time of the year along with fall to go visit the Japanese tea garden. I mean, everything is just so peaceful and tranquil when you come here in general. I love walking around the Japanese tea garden and also make sure if you're able to get a reservation at the Umami Cafe, you can get tea and some soup and fun mochi bites. I love coming here. This is the second time that I've been here and we were lucky that we were able to get a seat, but here's me enjoying my mochi bites and they were delicious. So this just returned last month, but the Portland Saturday market is finally back and it runs until the end of December. So spring is the perfect time to come visit the Portland Saturday market. Buy some fun crafts if you want because all the Portland metro area vendors come in and sell their art and all their pieces. And it's always great supporting small local businesses in the area. I've gotten so many things from this market before. So I'm so happy that it's finally back and I can't wait to go this year and see what are some new finds that I can purchase for my home. This is about 45 minutes out of Portland, but this is the Wooden Shoe Tulip Festival. And this year it is running from March 22nd to May 5th. And it's in Woodburn, Oregon. And I went to this last year with some friends and it was so much fun. Definitely bring good walking shoes cause it can be really muddy, but the tulips are in blossom and it is so beautiful and yes, you can even buy bouquets of tulips, but you cannot pick the ones that you see in the field. There's also a couple of activities that you can do around the site and you can only buy tickets online. So make sure that is something you do. This one's super underrated, but the Dunaway Park Lilac Garden in Southwest Portland is definitely something to not sleep on, especially if you love lilacs. They are in bloom pretty much in May. I took my sister here last year when her and her fiance came to visit. We had a lot of fun. We were actually here for about an hour just enjoying nature and walking around and enjoying and smelling all the flowers. So check this out. And for the last spring activity is Rose Festival, specifically the City Fair event, which starts Memorial Day weekend. So this year the fair is operating from May 24th through June 9th. So the fair is only open on weekends except for Memorial Day, which is the only Monday, but they have lots of carnival games such as ski ball, as you see here, lots of rides. So if you love fairs and fair food and games, this is such a fun and nostalgic feeling and I definitely want to try and go back again this year if I can, but this is like one of my favorite things to do during the spring. Tickets haven't gone on sale yet, but they will soon and I highly recommend you come to this if you love fairs. I mean, I love the cotton candy. That was my favorite part. So yeah. So tell me, 
What are you going to be doing this spring in Portland? If I missed your favorite spring activity in Portland, please comment down below and let me know what it is so I can check it out and so others watching can too. Make sure you do give this video a thumbs up if it helped you and I will see you in my next video. Bye!